Hi everyone, I'm Dan Rowe and I'm Maritime Geothermal's lead product engineer. Today I'm going to show you our Nordic R-Series unit. This is a new version of the geothermal to air machine for us and it has some great features that you won't find anywhere else in the industry. Uh, let's just dive right in. Uh, for an overview, this is a water to air heat pump. Uh, Maritime Geothermal has been manufacturing this type of heat pump since 1983. Uh, this new version was introduced in early 2014 with the smallest footprint in the industry for a 5 or 6 ton machine at 24 by 28 inches. Uh, improved appearance was a second goal of this redesign. Uh, since geothermal is a sizable investment, it was thought that homeowners would appreciate a good looking geothermal unit. Uh, I believe that our charcoal gray cabinet, uh, which you can see here with a silver door and the earth decal, is the most uh, upscale looking geothermal unit on the market. Uh, this model, of course, is available from uh, nominal 2 to 6 tons in R410A. Uh, 6.5 ton is available in a larger cabinet, and a smaller line in 3 quarters of a ton to 2 ton sizes is also available. Uh, we can look at the uh, components of the heat pump uh, separately. Uh, the first thing we can look at are heat exchangers. Uh, the water coil is selected based on performance uh, from extensive testing with various water coils in our CSA certified performance testing facility in New Brunswick, Canada. Uh, the selected water coil also happens to be the toughest on the market with the best freeze and particle resistance. So that's a, it's nice that that worked out like that. Uh, the water coil is available in uh, Cooper Nickel as well for, a, uh, for water that's high in chlorine or salinity. Uh, the air coil, which you can see here, is uh, custom designed and manufactured, uh, computer designed actually, with a higher wall thickness than the competition to avoid the uh, tubing failures that are commonly seen after several years in those units. Uh, there is a nozzle style distributor on this air coil for the best cooling mode performance with a heating bypass check valve, uh, which is a uh, feature not commonly found in uh, geothermal units. So the next thing we can look at is the uh, blower, a uh, very important uh, component obviously uh, in order to move uh, air through the forced air system quietly and efficiently. Uh, despite its small machine size, uh, the blower is a full-size blower. Uh, you can see it right here. Uh, as opposed to the tight blower found in most competing geothermal units. Uh, this means it spins slower for the same airflow and there's less blower wheel noise. Uh, there's an electronically commutated motor in the center here, uh, or ECM, which maintains a constant airflow regardless of duct size or filter condition. And it's more efficient than a P PSC motor, uh, especially at uh, part load speeds. Uh, this is the latest release of the ECM from GE uh, or Regal Beloit, and it's called the Eon motor. There's also an optional uh, plenum heater uh, pictured here. We can turn off the visibility to show you what a machine looks like without it. Uh, it's available in a full range of sizes for either auxiliary or full backup electric heat. Uh, the next thing we'll look at is the uh, compressor. There's a compressor there. It's a two-stage Ultratech compressor from Copeland, which has become standard in the geothermal industry. Uh, we're, of course, using the latest K5E version, which minimizes the size and weight and gains a few percentage points on the efficiency. Uh, the compressor is mounted, as you can see here, on a uh, double grommet isolation plate uh, for low noise. And there's also an optional sound jacket available for very noise-sensitive applications, although that's uh, in practice that's uh, very rarely necessary. Uh, the accumulator... Uh, is standard for maximum protection against liquid flood, black, flood back to the compressor, I should say, uh, which is a feature rarely found on this size of uh, geothermal equipment. So let's go back to the, a view which uh, shows the, uh, the doors off of the machine with all the components in it here. There we go. Um, another thing I can mention about the machine, uh, it has, of course, has a uh, double wall desuperheater which is a custom manufactured side-by-side -side, uh, tube heat exchanger, uh, makes about 5% uh, of the machine output available for heating domestic hot water. Uh, there's also, right here, is an ECM-style uh, circulation pump, which only uses a fraction of the power of conventional circ pumps. 
as far as other components, we've got, uh, which these components will be familiar to you if you work with geothermal units. Um, if we can give it a zoom here, no, maybe not that much. We've got a yeah, TXV, uh, balance port TXV to maintain capacity under varying operating conditions. We've got a sight glass uh, for service work and uh, a filter dryer uh, to filter particles and moisture from the refrigerant stream. And we've also got uh, conveniently located uh, high and low pressure access ports. The electrical box, it's uh, conveniently located here at a, about a three foot height as opposed to being at floor level. Uh, it also has a swing out, uh, swing out panel with the uh, low voltage control board on it. This is to maximize the uh, space in the electrical box, which anyone who works on, works on or installs these machines will appreciate. Uh, the last thing I'd like to mention about the machine is the uh, air filter. You can see it here in this view. Uh, there's um, fiberglass and pleated filters available from us. And we also have a newly available uh, washable uh, electrostatic, uh, passive electrostatic filter available for those people who prefer it. So uh, to conclude, I think this uh, Nordic R-Series water to air geothermal unit is the best you'll find on the uh, market today. Uh, thanks for taking this tour with us. If you'd like to know more about our R-Series heat pump, you can visit our website at uh, nordicghp.com. You can connect with us on Twitter at nordicghp or on Facebook at Nordic Heat Pumps. Uh, thank you for listening.